Hi, Mom. Uh, as you may have seen that uh, picture we put in the group last night, you may have been thinking, yo, what's this guy doing? Tomorrow's Monday morning. Uh, he's no longer going on vacation, so he asked if he could take the day off. With yesterday being his birthday, and I said, sure. Taking one day off instead of two or three. So I said, deal. He's not going to be here. Everyone else is. Uh, but there is one thing I want to address. It's 6.50 right now. That's 10 minutes past the time we should be starting with about half of y'all not coming in until after 6.42. So one thing we need to address and fix is coming in on time. Um, it's very important. It's one, one of our most important principles. And really on Mondays, y'all need to be here at 6.35, not 6.40. Meeting's supposed to start at 6.40. So let's all put this behind us. And next week, let's be in this building at 6.30, 6.35. So that way we're not starting 10 minutes late. And unbeknownst to y'all, we're going through all tool bags. I'm going through every truck. Brian's talking to every trainer. So if we had been here at 6.40, we would have got a better start. Now we're going to be here for quite a while. So let's all uh, work on that. Um, I want to go through the shop, make sure everyone knows where everything goes. Um, we're going to go through tool bags and let's start. So if you, if you get a damage, um, Hunter's really good about it. Most of you are. If you see something broke that you didn't do, send in a picture is never a bad idea. Um, McKee has been fixing our broken sprinklers. So if you ever see that you hit a sprinkler, if you take a picture of it, that will help him fix it. So that way he doesn't have to drive there and then drive to go get parts. So damages, sending a picture of them, never a bad idea in any instance. Also, if it's something that I can fix, if you get a picture of it to me, I know what I'm getting myself into. Um, for This is more of Gabe and Devin's area. Um, there's a new company project email where uh, pretty much at the end of it, it says, please, if you want to speak to the crew at the end of the job, please be home so that way we can walk around it. So I think both of you are already do that without me saying anything. But if you guys wouldn't mind knocking on the door before you leave and getting a thumbs up, um, it'll save you from maybe going back and doing something small and uh, give the customer a chance to uh, <coughs> you know, voice what they see and all that. Also might be a good time to try and get a Google review out of them. Say, hey, uh, if you leave us a Google review, we really appreciate it. And if you drop my name, it really helps me out. So not a bad idea there. Can someone tell me what a crack weed is? Anybody? A weed that crack, grows in the crack. Crack, crack of what? The driveway or the yeah. road. Yeah, all right. Uh, does someone want to answer the second part? What is the proper way to eliminate one? We need, we need to spray it. Um, there may be some yards that we get that we pointed over the phone. They might have um, like cracked grass, like two feet of grass growing through it. You roll up on that, no, you do not need to weed eat all of that. Just use a shovel and spray it, no. Uh, but if you go to a property and the curb line is extremely clean and there's a couple of green weeds growing through there, yes, we need to hit them. So, if you ever have a question, feel free to uh, put, and also you don't have to just rely on me and Brian. The group chat's a great way for all of us to communicate. <laughs> so let's say if Jaquan went to mow a yard for the first time and the crack weeds are, it's actual grass, it's like a foot wide and it's all the way down the curve, he could maybe shoot a picture and say, is this something I need to handle or not? Instead of calling me or Brian, now I don't mind, feel free to call me. Uh, but, you know, you can also use the group chat as a way to communicate as well. Quick one on that. Uh, the initial mows, especially the ones that don't have a time on them, or both of them, uh, those, if I go there and I see that, I put ample enough time to handle it. And a lot of times if it's initial mow with a crack grass, I do put a video on it and, you know, with, with, a, with a flash on it. So I would say, I mean to, actually I do mean to counter it on that one um if, especially if it's initial you've got you got plenty of time to, to hit it but if you want want questions you know feel free to ask um you don't like jeremy was saying you don't have to use the shovel but at least knock down and spray because it's 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 in the description as far as crack weeds yeah so we um, sometimes they would have to uh 
they'd have to start thinking about job history because on an estimate over the phone they might not know if anyone's ever been there if all that's bad is the crack weed um, right. so it's also going to be relying on them on checking the job history and seeing if anyone's been there and then deciding okay i need to call him and make this an initial mow should be on. should be an initial mow there if it's the first they time. don't all say initial mow it's just going to say mow yeah, some service. of them will have like mowing service 45 minutes it's 30 and minutes. it'll be like a we went to one i yeah, can't so remember her name saturday saturday but her yard was pretty overgrown she wanted to push mode and everything but we only had like 21 minutes a piece and it was so like, yeah look they're rolling up to a yard and it says 45 minutes because it was quoted over the phone everything might look good but the cracks so they right. they have to think themselves oh okay i need to whatsapp him make this an initial mode spend the extra time and do it i think now, they should if all you, be initial if you spend the, yeah i mean yeah we'd have to make that change then um for every new client that we just starting with command center it had to be addressed as an initial mode or no, no no i guess that's actually me every single new client you force into an initial mode yeah that'd be a yeah i mean i'd be willing to make that change because that would help them out because otherwise they're having to make the call themselves i say we just make a blanket initial mode and then i always look to see if there was an initial mode if there was a a, a non-time on there and yeah. i check the time and so what I would do in a case that you get an initial mo and you beat the budgeted time, it would just be the budgeted time for that job. That makes sense to everyone. So if you go to initial mo, there's no time, address everything. Um, where where the crack weeds might slip through the crack is yeah. where you go to one that was quoted over the phone, it gives you a time, everything looks good, but the crack weeds. So Brian and I, that's a good idea to make everyone get an initial mo. So that way you can clean the yard up and get paid by the minute. Um, now, all that being said, if you go to one that's quoted, everything looks good but the crack weeds. If you run the time, if you message me initial mode, then I can change the time for you getting the crack weeds. But I think the better idea is just to make everyone get an initial mode. I think so. That way everyone gets the y'all there on the ground. You know that you want to make the yard look good. You don't have to worry about like, okay, but I'm going to go way over. Just, just, just handle it the way it needs to be handled, and then that way every client's getting the Augusta experience. You know, crack weeds sprayed, and then that way your your teammates down the road, you know, they 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 go to a property there's crack weeds, you know, three feet tall, and they're like, who was here last? <laughs> and, Well, cool. Because that's what we do. I mean, if we would, you say forcing it, I feel like that kind of makes it sound aggressive. Well, no, you just, you just, well, no, you just say, hey, company policy. Well, just like the card on file, they pretty much try to make everyone do that. Um, we could just say it's our policies. We go with an initial mode, it's billed by the minute. And if they don't want to do it, we don't want them as a customer. So if they don't, if they don't want to fit into our system, right. we don't want them. Yeah, it's very true. There's, there's a ton of people out there. And there's some people you just, you know, just not going to fit in our system. Doesn't mean they're bad people. Just mm -hmm. not. Um, so, guess. while uh, Brian's going to talk to a couple of y'all, because uh, it's been two, maybe three weeks since some of you have started. Um, and then we've been doing great with this, but I came in and there was no gas cards on the board. Uh, I'll repeat myself the importance of that is if one of you doesn't come in and you have it in a spot in the truck or your wallet, no one, none of us knows where it's at. You're affecting your teammates, uh, not necessarily me and Brian. So <coughs> let's please make sure we hang up the gas car and keys every afternoon. Um, and then let's jump to tool bags. So if uh, I'm gonna go through all of them. So if you did not know, there is this clipboard, a tool checklist of what you need in your tool bag. Um, go ahead and uh, empty Empty the contents of your bags, please.
These are the tools for tools, success. Tools of the trade. You can set it up for auto. Right. Right. Hey, right. hey guys, you got the tools for success? Yes, they're my truck. All six guys. Got them in the back. Yeah, you have one too. 